Yeah. If you ain't talking about that large money, then that conversation ain't at all for me. Too many niggas satisfied with just call money. A new chain, couple bottles at the ball money. We need that. Two acres for the yard money. Diversified portfolios and bond money. Pull a few strings that guitar money. Try to run up on me? Nah, money. Getting at it from the AM to the PM. Move fat boy, that's the door by your BM. Love they love it when they see him. We still in the hood, but we on top like the alternators in the GM. She feeling this? You tuned in to G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the share button as you come on in. And follow your boy on Instagram and Twitter at Box with G5 Jeff TV. Now, Joseph Parker, Junior Fi. They've been going back and forth, social media. They've been going back and forth as far as negotiating the fight for months. It was even reported that the reason the deal hasn't happened yet is because they've been going back and forth over gloves. Like, <laughs> they've been going back and forth over gloves. Now, don't get it twisted. I'm not laughing at the whole glove thing because we've seen situations in the past where gloves has been an issue. You know what I mean? And I'm not going to mention no names. I'm not going to mention no fights. But gloves is an issue. But they've been going back and forth for months. Like, it's, first it was the money. Then it was, you know, the split. Then it was the gloves. And it's just like, sometimes negotiations can go back and forth to the point where you just tired of it. you like, man, I don't care if they fight. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? So that's how it was with Joseph Barker and Junior Five. But it looks like this fight is getting close, um, according to boxing scene. Big shout out to boxing scene. And hopefully they can get this fight done and we can get this fight before the end of the year. That'd be great. But, you know, both from Australia, uh, it's a big fight in their country. Um, it'll probably be a pay-per-view fight in their country. They fought, I think, four or five times in the amateurs, so they're very familiar with each other. Joseph Parker... I think when he let his hands go, I think he could be, uh, you know, he would have a potential to be a top five heavyweight if he let his hands go. But a lot of times he keeps his hands in his pocket and um, we don't see the best of Joseph Parker. I think that's why he lost the Dillian White fight because he didn't let his hands go. Um, and other times where he didn't look impressive, you know, the Anthony Joshua fight, didn't let his hands go. You know what I'm saying? So. Even in the um, Andy Ruiz fight, I don't think he let his hands go like he should have. He just did a lot of moving. So I think that's the key for Joseph Parker. Junior Five, solid fighter. I'm not going to lie. I ain't even heard of Junior Five until I heard Boxing First Vlog talk about him. So big shout out to Vlog. But Junior uh, Five, solid fighter. Do I think he can beat Joseph Parker? Eh, I don't know. Like... Amateurs is way different than the pros, especially when it comes down to the heavyweight division. It's been too many times where one guy beats a guy in the amateurs and then get the ass whipped in the pros. So that doesn't necessarily mean anything. It's really just a backstory to the fight. But I hope they get this together. Um, I don't care if they wear bare knuckle gloves, winter gloves. I, I don't care what kind of gloves they wear, man. As long as they get this thing settled and get in the ring. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Please share this video. Support your boy. Support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.